everyone, I'm Juliana. Today I'm in Covent Garden and joined by my friend Shri, who's a food blogger in London. And as you guys can see, we are here having some freak shakes. If you don't know what a freak shake is, they are basically milkshakes, but very freaky because they've got so much in them. So this is a unicorn freak shake. This one's an Oreo freak shake and a salted caramel yes. with marshmallows. Very popular. One. Very healthy for you as well. Get your intake of five a day, as you can see. Maybe more like 50 a day. So, so the math question today is, if you have 20 different ingredients to choose from and you want to pick three for a milkshake, how many different combinations can you make? Hmm. I feel like I need to train these to work out the answer. If we are choosing three ingredients, how many different options can we choose for the first ingredient? So, for the first one, I've not picked anything yet. So I guess I can choose 20. 20, that's right. So for the second ingredient, we have how many choices? Can I repeat the same ingredient or no? We'll just assume we're not repeating okay. the same ingredient. In that case, I've one less. I've got 19. That's right. And for the third choice, we have... 18. 18, that's right. So we can multiply them together. Yeah. Um, ah. 20 times 19 18 times, times 18. 18. And is that something we're missing? Yeah. Because the order, does it matter which one comes first? Um, no, it doesn't matter. We can just have them all, so yeah, I guess it's regardless of the order. So after doing 20 times 19 times 18, and because the ordering doesn't matter, so we're gonna divide it by the different orders we can get. So uh, how many different orders can there be? Let's Should say we... this is one ABC, so we can okay. have ABC or... Ah, or we can have A, C, B. Yeah, and then... B, A, B? This is going so long. <laughs> Just imagine it's lying on the table, guys. Ah, uh, no, try. Okay, okay, so there are six different combinations. And the reason that there are six is because we've got three of them yeah. and we're working out the ways. So it's a permutation of three. So we'll actually have 20 times 19 times 18 divided by six. Cool. Is so, that the answer? Yes, it is. Yay. Okay, we better eat can it. Can I drink my <laughs> yeah, free shakes? You can. I've got 20 ingredients and I want different ways to put them together. So I would use maybe something like permutations and combinations. Yes, that's the right way to start. From what I remember from 20 years ago, which is when I studied this, <laughs> uh, it's something it's not like... not 20 years ago, is it? I know, I'm giving my age away, guys. <laughs> Kidding, I'm not that old. So it would be N factorial, so in this case 20 factorial. <laughs> the cameraman's laughing at me for being such a nerd, but there you go. So it's 20 factorial divided by uh, 20 take 3 factorial, which is 17 factorial. Mm -hmm times by 3 factorial so that just gives me 20 times 19 times 18 divided by 3 times 2 times 1 okay hope everyone liked our video if you want to see more of these kind of crazy foods that you can get in London then follow my Instagram which is truffle and toast which will be linked below don't forget to subscribe and like this video we have. We can have.